Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the BlueNen BN930S. This is an interesting 2-in-1 wireless wearable speaker headphones, and it's essentially a neckband style Bluetooth headset, just like other ones we've seen in the past from One More, from LG with the Tone series. These have been pretty popular before TWS True Wireless Earbuds became a trend. But uh, this is interesting because it also integrates stereo loudspeakers on the neckband portion, so you can transform them into speakers if you aren't listening to music using the integrated earbuds. So they're still in-ear style headphones slash loudspeakers that you can switch back and forth if you're sharing music with other people versus listening to them in private. Kind of an interesting concept. Now this sells for under $40, so it's relatively inexpensive. It does have a vibration motor built on in, so if you have an incoming call, the caller here will actually vibrate to alert you, which is a neat feature. It comes in four different colors, including a rose gold edition, and in terms of specs, it is IPX4 sweatproof and water resistant. Battery life will last up to 10 hours of playback before you need to recharge it again, and it uses Bluetooth version 4.1, so it's not using the latest 5.0, but again, for the relatively inexpensive price, I would say it's alright. Same thing goes in terms of the audio codecs. It lacks support for Qualcomm's APTX, so it's not going to be super low latency, but for just playing back music, it should be decent. We get the headset itself in addition to the user manual. There's also some spare silicon tips that you can get a more custom fit with, and also a charging cable that's using micro USB. So taking a closer look at the design of the BN930S, first of all, the body is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic, so it's reasonably lightweight and uh, feels decent. The back here that touches your neck is made out of a silicon material that makes it uh, a bit more comfortable, and this again just rests on your collarbones when you're wearing it has a slight curve when you're looking at it from the side. Here are the two loudspeakers and if you're wearing them and you're listening to music it gives you kind of a stereo separation effect. They call that 3D sound. And on the side here we have the ability for you to switch back and forth between the loudspeaker and also the in-ear style uh, mini earbud. There's also a play pause key on the inside that's pretty tactile and responsive. Other side features a dedicated on-off switch. There's also an answer or reject phone call key. And then on the outside of the collarbone, you have access to a volume rocker, which feels pretty good, and a flap that covers up the micro USB port for charging. The buds themselves aren't held into place magnetically, but rather it uses a mechanical system that you can pull on to extend the wire, and then you pull on it again to retract it back in. Uh, it helps the earbuds themselves stay pretty snugly and securely fitted in without the risk of falling out, since there is that string that's always catching it. Now the buds themselves are very lightweight, simply has the tip so they are very compact and you can definitely wear them for extended periods of time without noticing any fatigue. So with that being said they could be slightly more ergonomic at least in my opinion since they are so small they just fit in but there's no kind of outer wing so these are still more of a casual design. I'll also point out that because they have built-in speakers, the neckband is a little larger than some other units we've seen. This is more of an average size. Let's begin with a demo of the loudspeakers first. Alright, so turning the volume down, overall takeaways would be the quality of the speakers I think is average. They do get plenty loud, and indeed, when you're wearing it, it does become an interesting experience because it is so close to your left and right side of your ears. You can also use it as a conventional speaker, just popping it onto the surface. It works equally as well, so there is that stereo separation. But that being said, these are still pretty compact and small drivers, so it's not going to be a replacement for a boombox or something that fills a larger space or room. Most notably, there is a little lack of bass. But for such a small speaker, I would say it does an okay job. One improvement they could make would be using the vibration motor, which is built on in for notifications, to also react to the music. So if you're listening to a drum beat, for example, the motor can shake and vibrate to kind of simulate the experience of bass. 
which would be pretty cool to experience. Now when it comes to the quality of the actual buds themselves, overall I would say that the sound is slightly better than the speakers when it comes to bass. So listening to that same track that we just played, it was actually an EDM type music, so there's plenty of drum beats and you get that thump as long as you have a tight seal in your ears. So I do think the sound here is a little bit better. One thing I will say though is because you don't use Qualcomm's APTX, there is a little bit of background noise or distortion if you strain your ears and listen really closely. Sometimes there is a bit of a hiss or a hum in the background, but it's not too distracting. The same thing goes even with Apple's AirPods, so it's not going to be completely silent compared to true wired headphones, for example, or top-of-the-line wireless ones, which have been improved in terms of the chipset. Latency, on the other hand, is uh, one area where these are a little bit weaker in. When you're playing and pausing the track, uh, sometimes there is going to be a split-second delay but uh, you can still watch YouTube videos since YouTube has optimized playback to work a little better using wireless headphones over the past few months, so it still can be used for that. Obviously for music listening it works perfectly fine, but if you're watching say Netflix and watching an action film then it might not be the you know, fastest experience. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Bluenin BN930S. Overall, it's a really cool concept, especially at an affordable price, of combining a neckband that has built-in stereo speakers. It does make the listening experience when you're wearing them pretty funky because of that stereo separation, and also being pretty pleasant to listen to a few tracks with, and also combining the earbuds, which are not half bad either in terms of their sound. So it could be worth a closer look if you're just looking for a casual pair of earphones to listen to music with, and sometimes want to also share the music with people around you, but don't want to carry along a separate device. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Bluenin BN930S.